Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with a Music Box Alpha news slash tutorial video. And it's been a while since we've covered this, so I figured we'd kind of jump back to it. And since we last did a video on Music Box Alpha, there's been a lot of changes, bug fixes, and new features added. So I figured we'd come back around to it, and I'm going to get a full tutorial out of the way on how to get this set up on your Windows PC. Now, if you're not familiar with Music Box Alpha, basically what we have here is a front end for the music we own. Now, it's just like LaunchBox, but for music and now music videos, because that's one of the main new changes in the latest update of Music Box Alpha. We now have the ability to add music videos. Now, getting this set up is super simple. First thing we're going to need to do is download the application. So we're going to click download here. As making this video, Music Box Alpha is only compatible with Windows, and in this tutorial, I'm using a Windows 10 PC. So basically what we're going to do is throw our email in here, it's going to send us a download link. And just like LaunchBox, Music Box Alpha is free to use, but we do have a premium version. We can head up here to purchase. And just like LaunchBox and Big Box, there's two options here. You get the regular license. This will allow you to use Music Box Alpha forever, but you'll be required to renew your license for $10 to access the new features after one year. And these are the new premium features. Or you can just pick up the Forever Updates license, and this allows you to use it forever with all the newest updates. Okay, so I've downloaded Music Box Alpha. I've got it on my desktop. I also have my premium license right here. I'm just going to go ahead and click on the application. We're going to install it. I'm going to accept the agreement. And now I'm just going to take note of where Music Box Alpha is going to be installed. Normally, C Drive, Users, Username, Music Box Alpha. You can swap this around if you'd like to. It can go anywhere, but I'm going to leave it right here. So we'll choose Next and Install. All right, so Music Box Alpha is installed and it automatically launched it for me. Up here, it's telling me this is the demo version because I haven't placed my license file in the correct folder. So I'm going to shut this down. And I'm going to head over to my installation directory. C drive, users, username, music box alpha. And I'm just going to place my license.xml right in here. Now before I exit this, I'm just going to create a shortcut. Place this on my desktop for easy access. I can go ahead and get rid of the installer. And I can start it back up. Okay, so now I got Music Box Alpha running in premium mode. It's time to add our music and videos. If you want to add videos, you can totally do that. Now there's a couple ways to go about adding your music and videos. Personally, I like keeping Music Box Alpha totally portable. So what I would do is I would actually head back to my Music Box Alpha installation directory, C drive, users, username, Music Box Alpha, and inside of here I can create a folder called music and music videos. And that's where I'd place all of my content. That way if I ever want to take this with me to another laptop or another PC, all I need to do is copy this folder directly over. All of my music and my videos will be stored here. But if you already have a lot of music on your PC and you just want to use those directories, you can also do that. So if I head over here to music, this is where I have everything located. Got all of my albums, they're just separated here by artist name and album. Now a few of these I do have set up as a discography, so I have all of these in a single folder. And Music Box Alpha will automatically detect each one of these albums inside of each folder. I also have a folder in here called Music Videos. I just got a few here. MP4 files will be scraped correctly. Metadata and artwork will be automatically downloaded inside of Music Box Alpha. So now what I'm going to do is just point Music Box over to those directories, to my Music Directory and my Music Videos directory. So at the top here, these three little lines, Manage Folders. From here, we're going to add our Music Folder. Add Music Folder. And I'm going to navigate to where I have my music located on my PC. Under Music. So that's easy enough. Select Folder. Next thing I want to do is add my Music Videos folder. Kind of the same thing here, but mine are in Music, Music Videos. And I'll select that folder choose close and as you can see it's automatically scanning those directories and downloading our artwork and metadata for each of our albums so I'm going to give this a little while to finish up and after a few minutes it's populated all of my artwork for me for each album so in five finger death punch here I have a few albums we can go directly over here start playing a song from said album or if you just want to go directly to them 
songs, this will populate all the songs we have from that artist. Now again, with the videos that I've added, I've only added one video for this specific artist, but it's going to be located right under here. So it will pair up that artist with the correct video. So if I go back here, Oliver Tree, kind of the same thing. Videos, have to turn the music down to the copyright, but we have videos added inside of Music Box Alpha. Really simple to set up. We can sort by artist, albums, genre, songs, and even videos. So yeah, Music Box Alpha is very easy to use. You can easily import your music and now music videos. We can search by artists, albums, genre, songs. We can nest things together here. As you can see with all of these albums for this specific artist. And overall, I think it's a great choice as a music front end. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. We really appreciate you watching. If you're interested in learning more about Music Box Alpha, I will leave some links in the description. We do have more coming with this, so definitely stay tuned to the channel. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.